Further assembly. After adjusting the bolt and stabiliser perfectly, you can continue with assembly. Now you insert the bolt cover from the rear. Should the cover be inserted too far into the unit, it can be brought back to the correct position by use of the cocking lever. The cover is fixed through pushing in the pin at the side. You now mount the stock cover. It is fixed with a 2mm Allen screw in the front. The entire back stock is now placed onto the unit. The parts are assembled together with the 4mm Allen screw. Don't forget to retighten the 2.5mm Allen screw on the side, which was loosened when disassembling. By tightening this screw, the entire back stock unit is secured. Next mount the grip rod. It has a safety washer on which a small amount of grease should be applied before it is secured in place. Now insert this component and finish assembly of this part by inserting the pin from the other side. Being aware of the correct position, place this eccentric disc for grip adjustment and mount the grip. Now tighten the 4mm Allen screw for the grip. Mount the forearm including the sliding block. Insert the sliding block from the front followed by the spacers. The forearm has hollows for the spacers on the right and left side. Therefore, the spacers must be in the area of these hollows. The wooden forearm is then placed on top and is fixed with the screw which goes into the sliding block. By tightening this screw only a little, this will allow the forearm unit to be moved back and forth and will also pivot to find the ideal position for the shooter. Finally, replace the diopter and assembly is now complete.